everyone, this is Heather BB with the Additive Guru channel. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a profile in Cura for the Artillery Genius. Um, since there's not an already pre-made profile in Cura for the Artillery Genius 3D printer. So what we're going to do is first we go up to our printers and add printer. Then go to add a non-network printer down to custom and then it, you'll do the custom FFF printer add that All right. and so what we have to do now is change the machine settings to match what the um, artillery genius 3d printer settings are so first we're going to change the X width and that is 220 millimeters the next is the Y, which is also 220 millimeters. And then the Z height is 250 millimeters. All right, it is rectangular instead of elliptic uh, for the bed plate shape. We're going to check the heated bed because it does have a heated bed um, for it. And then the G code flavor is rep wrap. So you'll change that over. Um, all of this gets added in automatically and then we're going to go to extruder one. Um, the nozzle size is um, 0.4 millimeters but we do need to change the compatible material diameter um, to 1.75 millimeters since that is the type of filament um, size that the Genius 3D printer does take. All right, and then you'll go to next, right. and then you can always change the name to it by hitting manage printers. Um, you'll go to the one that you just made, the custom FFF printer, and you'll rename it to say artillery genius 3D printer. Okay. and then close. So we have the Artillery Genius 3D printer. Um, and of course, you know you have your different materials and then you can actually change all of your settings like you normally do for Cura, um, for any other printer um, based on how, you know what you're wanting to print and the materials. Okay, so that is how you add a profile for the Artillery Genius 3D printer into Cura. Um, thanks for watching and watch, uh, check out some of our other videos. Thanks.